Cheers! Voila! I am stuffed. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a daily vlog. You know, no one asked for this video, but I'm gonna make it anyway. I'm gonna be showing you guys what we eat in a day. Uh, recently, David and I have changed our diet to a pescatarian diet. We've cut all red meat and chicken and we eat fish a couple of times a week, but predominantly our meals are vegetarian. This is gonna be going on all day. I swear by the end of the day, my ears are gonna be bleeding. <laughs> It is my favorite time of the day, lunch. Ever since David and I have switched over to a pescatarian diet, I have been making these really big salads for lunch. Today, I'm going to top it with these. These take a bit to heat up, it takes about 20 minutes. I'm gonna first spray. prep in my pan. Salads seem like a really easy dish to make, but it actually takes a lot of time. There's a lot of prep. Lunch is served. Let's try this out. I put a little bit of cheese on mine. David doesn't like cheese on his. I love this jalapeno Havarti cheese because I don't know, it just adds like a nice flavor to it. Like you don't, do you taste the jalapeno, David? Yeah, a little bit. It's a nice kick. with the cheese it's so good you're missing out i have a question and i probably should look this up because for the last few weeks whenever i make a spinach salad i don't cut these ends are you supposed to cut them did you ever think about that while eating the salad no i don't think you're supposed to cut them okay Okay, so what do you think of the salad? Okay, let's get it again. Go ahead. Go ahead and no. Okay. Why? I didn't sign a waiver. <laughs> That's how you piss her off. <laughs> Ruin the content. <laughs> Come on, tell me. What do you think of the salad? Because I mixed it with the um, lettuce because mm -hmm. we didn't have much spinach. That's incredible. Thank you, so, honey. You're welcome. Lip gloss. Lip gloss. <laughs> 
Come in the shot. <laughs> Get in the shot. <laughs> A few moments later. Hey guys, I've got some errands to run today. I am shipping off the cloth and paper giveaway to the winner. And then I'm gonna head to the grocery store because I am in the mood to make some tofu kimchi fried rice. You guys will be joining me on my grocery trip. I can't ever breathe in this thing. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, it never gets easy with vlogging. I don't know why, it just doesn't. I was just in there, I was recording my groceries on the conveyor belt and the cashier said something about it and just asked so many questions and I could just feel my face turning red. Ah! I wanted to share with you guys, I got myself a little treat. This is a Japanese drink. I mean, when we were kids, we used to call this like apple ku. It is so good. This is one of like my sister and I, our favorite childhood drinks. Cheers. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow, I could just drink that entire, I should have gotten a bigger bottle. Okay. Come over here, come here. Come here. Yeah, right here. Well, okay, you okay now I'm hyping it up. It's not even that good, but I okay, came like snacky snack. Wow. But have we tried the classic cheddar? I don't think, so. I don't think we have, Is right? Dairy free cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even check. It's I really, just assumed because it was it still contains dairy. <laughs> Well, you can eat it, but I can't. <laughs> Honey, they didn't have those green peppers. But okay. I got fish cakes. Okay. I got more lemons. It's okay if you forgot about them. I swear to God, I did not forget. I swear to God. Okay. I looked. I looked. I walked around three times. Okay, let me see the video oh. evidence. Uh, I didn't record the shopping. Conveniently deleted the footage. <laughs> <laughs> but they did have. What is this? Kimbap. Kimbap. Which I oh, don't delicious. necessarily like eating this with like a meal. I like this as a snack. So if you want a snack. Yeah. So did you try this when we were? No, I still didn't try it. Now you go and try it. Okay. Ooh. Wait, your head's not in there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is really interesting. That's good, huh? Oishi It, it really tastes like just apple. I was so excited to try these tonight, <laughs> but if you guys do see this brand at the grocery store, try the jalapeno flavor. It is so good. It's it's fire. I mean, I can eat that all day, every day. Many hours later. I was watching some TikTok videos and I was a lot of stuff that was showing up on my For You page was a ton of cooking videos. So I'm hungry. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna be making a kimchi fried rice uh, with tofu as the main protein. I'm gonna get started on that. But you know what I realized a couple hours ago? The key to perfected kimchi fried rice. You don't wanna use fresh rice. You wanna use leftover rice. I whipped up some white rice a couple hours ago and I didn't use as much water and I let it sit out. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> God, this is so much better when it's leftover rice. I wanna show you guys a storage technique uh, that I use on my green onions because I'm sure some of you have the same issue. I bought three bunches. This is a lot. In a couple of days, when you go to check on them, they are shriveled 
um, in brown. You can't use them anymore. They're just, they're gone. Um, so a way that you can store them to keep them nice and crisp, fill water up to the halfway mark, and then you put a plastic covering over the green onions. Although, warning, <laughs> you do have to change out the water every two days. If you don't, they go bad. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So whenever I'm making a rice dish like this, it's easy to make rice look ugly on a plate because you just kind of like slap it on there. But if you have any small bowls at home, here's a neat trick you can do to make it look cute. Now all I do is stuff the rice into a small round bowl like this. And then I put the plate on the top. And then I flip it. Here. Voila. How cute is that? <laughs> Smells delicious. And as an extra, I like to get some, in Japan, we just called it seaweed but in Korea, they call it kim. So I'm just gonna take some and plop it on top. You've got a scrumptious tofu kimchi fried rice. I am so excited to try this. Okay, let's see. Remember how I said earlier, I let the rice sit out for a couple of hours because I wasn't using leftover rice. It didn't make a difference. The thing is, it's not bad. It's, it's not like it tastes bad or anything. It just changes the texture of the dish. And you might even prefer a softer rice. It works both ways. Um, honestly, I love this dish because you can't go wrong. I have one side here and it's cooked fish cakes. Hmm, I love these. Like anytime I go to a Korean barbecue spot and they have all the sides laid out on the table, I cross my fingers that they'll have this one. A few moments later. I am stuffed. Oh my God, I have a serious food baby, you guys. But you know what? I always have room for dessert. Let me grab it. Cookies. <laughs> uh, but these are actually vegan chocolate chip cookies. It's in this little Ziploc bag here. But the reason why we do that is because you need like a no air container. I will leave a photo right here of exactly what I'm talking about. These cookies are so good. See, I mean, let's be real. I don't want to lie to you. It doesn't taste like a real chocolate chip cookie, but it tastes good. It does have that nice chewy consistency. And even though the chocolate chips are 
uh, dairy free still taste so good i'm just gonna have one that is the end of what i eat in a day i kind of wish i had more snacks to share with you guys but i didn't really eat any today i personally have been enjoying this new diet that david and i are on i feel like i've had so much more energy i feel happier thank you guys so much for watching i had so much fun making this video for you and i will see you guys in the next one Bye. Okay, that was so awkward. Bye.